So this is my 1979 GMC 7000 road tractor. I've got it for sale out here by the road and just showing it off a little bit, I guess. It's a PTO winch. I'm gonna divert a valve. So I can't switch between two separate hydraulic motors or units. Another cool thing is this right here. This is one of the old first aid kits that you'd have in the military. And it houses an electrical junction box. How cool is that? It's a good use for some of the old surplus that's been kicking around. Keeps all the wires nice and dry. So this is a two-speed rear end. It's all air brake. Got a nice receiver tube. And the switchback here is to control the backup beeper. Sometimes I don't want to have it on. I got air to the rear. Got a fifth wheel. It's a Holland. 10 22 fives. It's all converted to tubeless. And this is my winch control. Fuel tanks have all been redone on the bottom. Also, I've got a Sierra filter, marine filter in there. All nice new line. It's been converted over to wet hubs. Does have virgin tires in the front. Pretty nice looking truck. I got a lot of work into this thing. This is actually the truck that I got my CDL with in Class A. It's a 427 gas job. It's actually got an Edelbrock carburetor on there. It's a pretty cool little unit. Yeah, I put some miles on this thing, and it used to haul this low boy trailer right here. Now this trailer is quite heavy for that truck, but this is also air brake, and this is nice. Little, I also restored this trailer. That was quite a bit of work. This is my new horse. I upgraded a little bit. It's got a Cummins M11 with a 10-speed, but I will miss this truck. More or less just taking this video so I can remember this truck whenever I sell it. So we got a Road Pro seat, air seat in here. That's very nice, other than a bench seat. Interior's pretty ugly, really. That nice blue. My grandfather built this upgrade for me. This little center console here houses two speakers for the radio and one speaker in the rear for a CB if I ever wanted to add it. Check this out. In case you can't tell, my grandfather builds really nice high-end furniture. He really hooked me up with that one.